Well, hey everybody, Jeff Williams here with SFLeaves.com. Okay, what are we doing today? Well, I had a couple viewers write in and said, Jeff, we would really love it if you did a video on how to dry pan or pan without water. Yes, it can be done. Not as effective, but it can be done. So today, I'm gonna show you what equipment you need to do to effectively dry pan out here in the middle of the desert so that you can get some gold too. So here we go. Okay, what we got here is some beautiful looking dolomite or limestone. You can see these really rough edges on here. Great for trapping gold. It runs all the way across the wash. So what we're gonna do is I've got all my sampling tools in here for crevicing. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean out all these little pockets in here. Now come here, take a look at this. I wanna show you something. Now if you're ever on a hard pan or caliche or bedrock, uh, if you're in the desert or even if you're not in the desert, Look for gigantic boulders, and this is a small one. And what you're gonna do, make sure you got your gloves on because you don't want to get bit with something underneath there. And you're gonna pop that rock over like that. Now the gold will have a tendency to get trapped underneath this rock, especially if it's sitting on hard pan or caliche or bedrock. And so you're gonna take your little broom and you're gonna clean all this stuff up. Make sure you got gloves on because you never know what's waiting in there to bite you. Ow! So you're gonna clean that all up with a broom and then you got your sample bucket and you're gonna put all that in there. Now make sure that you're classifying, but I'm gonna go into that in a little bit more detail. So make sure you clean all this bedrock off and that's what we're gonna do. So here we go. Okay, let's talk equipment. What are you gonna need? Well, you know that you gotta have a sampling bucket and of course some crevicing tools, but you're also gonna need this. This is a Garrett Super Sluice Gold Pan. I highly recommend it for all you prospectors out there. And usually when you buy one, it comes with a classifier too. And this is about all you really need to dry pan out here in the middle of the desert. Now, the reason why I picked this one is because it's got the deep ripples in it. No other gold pan is gonna get that gold when you're dry panning. So get yourself a Garrett Super Sluice and a classifier. That's all you really need. And of course, sample bucket. So come here, I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so you don't need this anymore because you already classified. You got all your concentrates in here. You're gonna dump them in just like that. There you go. And you can even use this to sit on if you want. Okay, so what are you gonna do? What's the secret to dry panning? Well, because you ain't got no water, you're gonna have to agitate the heck out of material so that you can get the gold to settle to the bottom of that pan. And without water, that means to get that gold to stratify, you're really gonna have to vigorously shake that pan back and forth, back and forth. Like that, side to side a little bit. Now, what you see here is you see all the rocks coming to the top. You're gonna shake, 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 and you're gonna rock that pan to the front. Take your hand, put the glove on, and you're gonna just push that material out. Bring it back, swirl, shake, which is stratifying that material. See that? Then you rock it to the front, and push that material out, just like that. Run it back again, shake, spin, tilt, and push that material out just like that. Now, I've seen a lot of guys out there that have different techniques. Some of them like to tap the pan back here and some like to tap the pan here. I'm here to tell you that ain't gonna work very well. I've tried it a million times. It don't work, but I'm gonna show you what does work. You're just gonna keep doing this. Slowly rock it to the front. Gently push all that rocky material out. Don't worry, the gold's at the bottom. Back and forth, tilt. Now as you get closer to less material, you're gonna do this action right here, side to side. That's all you need to do. And all your heavies are gonna show up in the back. And you're just gonna gently move that off to the side. Get it back, circular, shake, side to side. That's all you need to do. You don't need to do no tapping. And just gently push that out. 
as you get to less and less material, you're gonna gently let that material walk over the edge of the pan. Just like that. Then you're gonna bring it back in the pan, circulate that side to side. That's all you need to do. Gently. Don't get all crazy with it. And when you got just a little bit of material left, I'm gonna show you a trick on how to get that dirt to walk to the top of the pan. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you the last trick on how to get that gold to walk away from the dirt. So what you're gonna do is, when you get down to about two, maybe three tablespoons of dirt left in the very crease, you shake that back and forth, make sure that gold settles to the bottom. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna gently tilt that pan back towards you and you're gonna tap it with your right hand. And as you do so, that dirt, the lighter dirt, is gonna walk right on up to the top of the pan. And the heavier stuff is gonna settle to the bottom. And hopefully if there's any gold in there, it'll settle down with it. You don't have to get too vigorous with it. And you can see all the heavy material falling out of that dirt. See that? Okay, now the last tick is, yeah, I know, I'm sweating out here. You're gonna blow on that. And voila, look at that. There you go, there's some uh, iron stone, and there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of gold in there. Ain't that the prettiest thing you ever saw? Well, there you have it. That's how you dry pan out in the Mojave Desert when you ain't got no water. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode on how you dry pan. And if you've liked today's episode, please rate, share, and subscribe. And as always, leave me a comment because I really want to know what you guys got to think out there. So anyway, until next time, this is Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying, if you can dry pan desert sand, then ye shall behold gold when no one else can. Take care.